A new feature included in Build 7900 is the Quick Design feature. This new feature will allow you to quickly snap components in place when modeling your vessels. To begin, let's first activate what we call the Specification Sheet Data Pane. Simply come up to the top, right click with your mouse, and select the Specification Sheet Data. This pane will allow you to make global changes to the vessel, but also allows you to set the design properties of the vessel up front before we begin modeling. So for example, at the top here we have general information, location, purchaser, PO number, tag number, items like that, followed by our code requirements as well as our design requirements. So for example, one of the things that we have in here is what we call the material scheme. If I pull this down, we have multiple material schemes that you can edit, you can set up your material scheme. So for example, I have carbon steel set. What this means is that every time I add a cylinder, I've set up in the scheme that all carbon steel cylinders will be SA51670. Likewise, you have a 304 stainless. So instead of having to select materials on all the components, the material scheme knows and will select the appropriate material for you. Next, we're going to set the diameter. So once we start using the quick design feature, the components will remember the last component that you modeled. So for example, if it's a 58, um, inch diameter, we'd want to type that in there. And we can make adjustments to this afterwards as well. But I'll leave this at 60. And then we can set the internal pressure, internal temperature, external pressure, external temperature, things like that. And again, we can come back and make changes to this later if we need to drop pressures, increase temperatures, things like that. Now, in terms of the modeling, we're going to use the option over here on the toolbar, they'll see a little running man, that's the activate quick design mode. Make sure that's checked and then we can begin. So I'll just start with putting my simple head in there. You notice how I didn't have to go through dialogues, it's reading the properties from our design pane. So for example the material and diameter were brought over from this. Next I'll put a cylinder in. Now note, you see how these red arrows, that means we're going to snap the component right there. I'll do this with another cylinder. I'll snap a head on the bottom, like so, and we can even do a support skirt. And then there'll be some options here as well. So if you look here in the top right, I've got my diameter, I can adjust this, but I also have the option of adding a base ring, um, not adding a base ring, and then I can select the configuration from here as well. So I'll just go through this, and there's the skirt added as well. Now one of the most powerful features of this is going to be adding the nozzles as well as the new attachments we have for this. So I'm going to press the F2 function key on my keyboard. That's the shortcut key for adding a nozzle. And as you can see, I can drag and drop the nozzle in the location that I need it to be. Now before I do this, a couple things to know. You see in the top right hand corner how we have our, um, uh, we can select our NPS size, our type, and then we have an option of adding a flange or adding a blind to this nozzle as well. Now if we need to adjust the size, simply use your mouse wheel and scroll in or out and you can see the sizing is adjusted. So I'll just click that and it's been dropped right there. Now this is going to remember the last selection so if I do this again, maybe I want to add a flange right below, it's going to remember that I had a flange and a blind on this nozzle. So if I add another one, I'll take the flange off and I'll drop it there. So that's a, a key thing to remember there. Now some of the other things that we've done here is we've also added in some of the piping components. So I'm going to move this little toolbar up here on the top. But this is a really powerful feature. So for example if I want to add an elbow, I can just simply snap the elbow in place. I can add pipe and adjust the length. Or I can add things like once I put another nozzle on, I can add items like reducers onto this as well things like that. Now another quick piping component or nozzle is we've also added in the coupling. So this option right here is your B1611 coupling. You can select it. Again, same thing. We can adjust the pipe size and the class and drag and drop it where we want it. So those are some of the quick design features that we've added. Now one other thing, I'm going to open up a new file here and just put two cylinders in here. And what we're going to look at is body flanges. So if I add a body flange, so I come over, I'm going to select, and this is going to be the same whether it's an Appendix 2 flange or an ASME B16-5 flange. I'm going to drop it right there, and you can see there's one flange there, 
we'll select a different flange type. We'll do a weld neck integral, and I'll do 1A right. I'm going to drop it in, but notice we've also dropped in the mating flange because, as you guys know, flanges are designed as a mated pair. So you don't need to model the two flanges separately. Once we drop the first one in, the second one's going to be designed in accordance with the first one, and you can set that as well. So the mating flanges have been added as well. So that's one of the big key new features for you. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. Uh, if you have any other questions, please email support at codeword.com or call us at 941-927-2670.